welcome to Berwick Mitsubishi. My name's Jamie and today I'm gonna to give you a full walk around video on this 2017 Mitsubishi Lancer Black Edition. Now we'll start off with the front of the car, we'll run you through some of the features and also some of the things that uh, you are included in the Black Edition package. Starting off at the front, uh, being the Black Edition, you do get the blacked out grill. So the whole front end is all blacked out. Um, so usually it does come with a chrome, chrome grill, grill, but again, in the Black Edition, you get it blacked out. You still retain the fog lights down the bottom and you also still retain your daytime running lights down the bottom as well. As you can see with the front end on the vehicle, um, probably why the Mitsubishi Lancer is so popular is just the way it looks. Um, looks really aggressive and sporty on the front of the vehicle. We'll come around and we'll look at our first alloy wheel. Again, with the Black Edition package, you do get the upgraded alloy wheels. Um, they are black as well, so usually they are um, a bit smaller and they also come in a chrome sort of finish, um, which these ones just look fantastic. Really good tread left on the tyres too. Again, part of the Black Edition package, this little side grille here does get blacked out, um, so usually again it is chrome. Just fits in really nicely with the vehicle. You also get the blacked out mirrors, but in a black car you don't really take notice. Um, and the door handles that have been colour matched as well. We'll take a look inside and I'll show you some of the features inside the car that are also um, change in the Black Edition package. So you do get the red stitching in the seats, um, also in the steering wheel, you get the leather wrapped um, handbrake and also the armrest, and you get the leather wrapped gear knob as well for the gear um, to change gears. Door cards themselves, they also have the red stitching included, and then you get uh, this nice red pin stripe that goes all the way around that really sets off the inside of the vehicle. Do get aluminium pedals as well, and you also get a black headlining in the car too, so just really sets off the inside of the car and makes it feel really sporty. Keep working our way down the car. Um, as you can see, that alloy wheel has just got a tiny, tiny mark on itself. You could literally go over with the black text and nobody would even know, but really good tread left on that rear tire as well. We'll come to the back of the car now, where again, probably why again the Mitsubishi is so popular, or the Lancer is so popular, is because of the back end shape. Um, again, it looks fantastic and really aggressive, and really shows off the back of the car. Do get a factory reverse camera, which I will show you inside the vehicle. We'll take a look inside the boot, so you just double click the key and you can open the boot, or you can do it from inside the car. As you can see, really good space in the back of the vehicle. Uh, you also get a space saver spare wheel underneath, and as you can see, this one has never been used. Um, but the main thing about the back of the boot is just how much space you actually get for a small car of this size. We'll keep working our way down the passenger side of the vehicle, where you will notice that the fuel door is on the passenger side, so if you do need to fill up for any reason, um, you are on the safe side of the vehicle. Again, that alloy wheel is unmarked in fantastic condition. Uh, as you can see, really aggressive side skirts on the vehicle as well. Again, just sets off that real sporty look. We will mention the windows are untinted, that is not tinted. So I would really highly recommend you do talk to us about uh, tint to us, not only for the heat perspective and the look, but also the safety um, reasons as well. And as you can see, that fourth and final wheel uh, is in good condition as well. Couple really minor marks, but as I said before, you could literally just get a black text and attach it up and nobody would even know. So as you can see guys, that's the outside of the vehicle and um, part of the black edition as well. Now taking a look underneath the bonnet, so what we have here is actually a four-cylinder, uh, four four cylinder, two-litre petrol engine. Now this engine is actually the same as they run in the Mitsubishi ASX. You do get 107 kilowatts of power and also 194 newton meters of torque. You do have a six-speed CVT transmission, again, the same that they've run in the ASX. 59-litre capacity tank, so a really good size tank for a car of this size, which you can run a 91 or above. Uh, but the attractive thing about this car and this engine, 7.4 litres to the 100 k's, and that's a, that's a fuel consumption combined. So out of a full tank of fuel, and this is the maximum distance, you can get anywhere up to 967. I was now taking a look inside the uh, Black Edition. We'll start off with the driver's side door, where you do have all your power and uh, window controls. You also have a button here to lock the windows as well, so if for any reason um, someone gets a bit annoying in the car, you can lock them out. And then you got all your power and mirror controls just above. Now behind the steering wheel, that's where your traction control button is. So if for any reason you do need to turn that off, you can do so. On your right-hand stalk, you do have your indicators, your fog lights, and also your headlights. And on the left-hand stalk, you have your uh, windscreen wipers. On the steering wheel itself, as you can see, really nice condition, really nice uh, steering wheel to hold as well, with nice quality leather. On the right-hand side, you have all your cruise control settings. At left-hand side, you have your volume controls um, to change stations, and then modes as well. And then all your Bluetooth settings down below. If we move into the main screen now, as you can see, it is a nice uh, touchscreen display. As you can see, easy to use, is touchscreen, like I said. Um, as you can see, it does have AM, FM radio, has digital radio as well, CD, USB, and Bluetooth as well. Now, I'm just going to put the car in reverse and show you the nice display reverse camera it has. So, as you can see, it makes uh, reversing, reverse parking this car easy to, um, easy to do. All your climate control settings are down below. You can just leave it on order and it will actually do all the work for you. Um, but we'll leave it off today as we don't actually need it. 
Down below in this little compartment here that does fold away nicely as you can see or you can flip it up. You do have a 12 volt socket and you have a USB as well and just a little bit of storage as well. Probably somewhere if you did have a smaller size phone you could actually fit it in and tuck it away. Your six speed automatic gearbox as I said you can drive it as a normal automatic or you can actually shift it into what they call the sport shift and then you can actually shift through the gears manually. Little compartment down here where you'd maybe put some coins or something like that. You do have two cup holders in this vehicle again they do fold on, uh, away nicely. Your leather wrapped handbrake, as I mentioned, it does get the red stitching as well. And then in this really nice and soft uh, leather wrapped armrest, again with the red stitching, in there you've got a really good amount of storage as well. Now I'll get the camera person to pan around the interior show you the condition. One thing I will mention with the inside of the car, uh, the red stitching and the red accents um, around the vehicle only are only for the front half of the vehicle. So the back half unfortunately doesn't get it, but the, red, the uh, front half definitely does. Hey guys, hopefully that's given you a really good representation of not only the condition of the vehicle, but also some of the black condition features as well. Now the number to call if you'd like to book a test drive, 9907055. Couple things I'd like to talk to you about before we go. Now this car will also qualify for our premium mechanical protection plan. So that's actually gonna give you an additional five years on top of the manufacturer's warranty of mechanical and electric protection, 10 years of premium roadside assist, and also unlimited claims up to $3,600 per claim. Now this plan I am talking to you about is an additional cost, but if you do use that in-house finance, Julia Mario business managers can tailor the package towards your needs. That would only adjust your payments by a couple of dollars a week. Another thing I would highly recommend, as I mentioned with the tint, uh, I would highly recommend you talk to us about a package with a glass coat and tint. So the glass coat will give you a lifetime warranty on the paintwork. So if anything happens like bird droppings, bat droppings, tree sap, paint oxidization, paint fade, you get a lifetime warranty that'll cover it and you'll get that repaired for free at no cost. One last thing before I go, with a 4.8 star rating on Google with over 920 reviews from Australia-wide customers, you can not only be assured you're buying a fantastic car, but you're dealing with the right dealership and the right people as well. Now the number to call again, 9907055. My name is Jamie and thank you for watching.